guys, Learning with Rich here. After learning building performance analysis, in this video, we will be learning how to create an HVAC system. HVAC stands for, to those who do not know, it's Heating, Ventilating, Air Conditioning System. So in this exercise, we'll be creating an HVAC system by placing air terminals and equipment in our building model. Of course, I'm not going to place an air terminals to the whole building and equipment in our in the whole building. So I'm just going to put it on one area and hopefully you'll be getting the idea so you'll be uh, able to do it by your own self. Okay, so as a mechanical designer, so you begin your HVAC design by placing air terminals and equipment. Okay, so this is after you create spaces and zones and run the heating and cooling loads calculation. And then you then need to coordinate the actual airflow with the uh, design airflow to ensure that the design meets the required amount of airflow. So you use schedule to review the flow information. So finally, you create a supply and return air system and use the system browser to check whether all components are assigned to the system. So we are going to do the following. So we are going to place air terminal. We are going to place, uh, I mean, we are going to place supply and return air terminals. And then we are going to assign and review air flow information. And then we will be placing as well uh, mechanical equipment. And then I'm going to teach you how to create a supply and return air system without the actual creating of ducts, okay? All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go to the system side. So I'm just going to zoom into this area here. So I'm going to put it here to this area. So I'm going to go ahead and select the system tab. And then after that, there's the HVAC panel, okay? Again, to those of you who want to have these exercise files, all you have to do is to put a comment on the comment section below and put your email address and, I'll, and then I'll be sending you the, the, the exercise file, all right? Okay, so from the systems tab, I'm going to go ahead and select air terminal. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, and then from the type selector, you can select the type that you want here. So since I'm going to put the supply diffuser, I'm going to select, let's say 24 by 24 does 10 next. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And then after that, so we are now going to place it. So you can just place it first without an exact distance. So just speak. Okay. And then after that, just select here, modify. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the height of my air terminal because by default is the height of this is uh, zero, right? Okay, so it's zero. So anyway, um, just in case you do not want to do this, uh, there is another way by selecting air terminal and then specifying there the uh, elevation. So you can just specify and then after that you can now place the air terminal. But just in case you forgot to change the elevation, so it's all right. You just need to select the air terminal and then change the offset. Okay. So let's click that offset from host and then let's change that to 2400. So that will going to be the height. As you can see, automatically elevation from level changes as well to 2400. Oh, sorry. That's too high. So it's. If you are using millimeters, so you just type 2,400 millimeters. But I'm using feet, so just make it, uh, let's say, 8 feet. 8, enter. So just 8 feet will do. There you go. And then I'll just uh, click outside. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the uh, reflected ceiling plan, the ceiling plan view. So I go to the project browser. I'm on level 2 HVAC plan, so I'm going to open the level 2 HVAC ceiling plan. So just double click that, and then there's our air terminal. So we will be aligning our air terminal to our ceiling. So there's a couple of ways to do that. So you can use the move tool or you can use align command. So let's say I'm going to use the align command. So I'm going to select align. And then let's say I'm going to align to this. 
area here. So I click that, and then I'm going to select the top of the air terminal. There you go. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select, um, let's say, this side here. Click. Okay, and then this one here. There you go. So for example, this is where I want to place my air terminal. So after that, I'm going to select here, modify. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. So let's copy. So I'm going to select the air terminal. And then you copy it. By the way, if you are not going to change the offset of your air terminal and leave it into a zero offset, you will not be able to see that in the ceiling plan view. So let's say, for example, I'm going to go ahead and change the offset. So I select that and then change the offset. So let's say I forgot to change the offset from host. Okay, so what will happen is you will not be able to see that in your ceiling plan. Okay, because it's uh, the elevation is zero. So that's why I have changed that to eight feet so that we can see that on our uh, ceiling plan. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this, select, copy, and then I'm going to copy it multiple times. I select that one, click the base point. And then we are now ready to copy. So let's say I'm going to copy it here. Okay. I'm going to copy another one here. There you go. And then I'm going to copy another one here. There you go. All right. So I'm going to copy another one, let's say, here. There you go. And then I'm going to copy another one here. Okay, and then another one here. All right, and then I just select modify. Of course, you can just put all the, the air terminals in the whole building, but I'm not going to do that. It will take a lot of time. You get the idea, all right? So after I place all the air terminals, the supply air terminals, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to place a return air terminal. Okay, so to do that, I'll just go back again to level 2 HVAC plan and then I select again the air terminal. So let's activate the air terminal tool, change from the type selector and then look for the return diffuser. So let's look for the return diffuser. So I select this one. Okay. Now, so there is an option here, tag on placement. So if I'm going to toggle this on, so automatically, as I place the air terminal, the tag will be placed as well automatically. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. Oh, before I place it, so let me just change the offset from host. So I change that to 8 feet, 8, enter. Okay, and then I'm just going to place it here. And then just select modify. Okay, so now let me go back to a uh, level 2 HVAC ceiling plan okay and then let us align that as well to our um, ceiling okay so let's do that so I'm going to use align the shortcut for align is um, AL so that's the shortcut for that so I'm going to align it here this one and then after that so maybe to this line and then here okay there you go okay and then modify and then I'm going to copy this, select, copy. So let's place another return air terminal. Let's say, for example, um, to this side here. There you go. Okay. And then after that, just select modify. Okay. So we now have a couple of uh, return air terminal. Now, the next thing that we are going to do, let us try to assign and review airflow information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the level 2 HVAC plan again. And then I'm going to select the four supply air terminals in our staff room here. This, this four air terminals. I'm going to select uh, this four air terminal. Okay, and then I'm going to change the flow here. Okay, so we can change the flow here. So by default, the flow for each of the air terminal is 500 CFM. So I'm going to change that to 140 CFM 
or 160 liters per second in metric if you're using metric okay so that's for this room okay now for the uh, staff 201a i'm going to select these air terminals here just don't forget to hold control so you pick one air terminal okay pick one and then hold control then click the other one okay so I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say, 280. So 280 CFM. And then here on my copy, okay, I can just move this room name. Okay, then select. Let's change this to 125. There you go, 125 CFM. Okay. Alright, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open the airflow schedule. So let's go to the project browser. And then in this exercise, I already created a schedule for the room airflow. Okay, so I'm going to double click that to open it. Okay, there you go. And then after that, let us review the schedule. So notice that all the rooms that do not have any air terminals place do not meet the calculated supply airflow and the CFM per square feet fields appear in this model as this one. Okay, you see it's zero. Okay, so indicating that the design requirements are not met. Okay. So these are the rooms we're in. We didn't uh, place any air terminals. Okay. All right. So as you can see, it didn't meet the, the, the requirement here. Okay. So in our schedule. Now, the next thing that uh, we are going to do is I'm going to place a mechanical equipment. Okay, so don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to create a schedule so that you can create your own room airflow schedule. Okay, so we have a topic for that. So I'm just showing you here that all the rooms that do not have any air terminals placed do not meet the calculated supply airflow. And uh, as you can see here, it's uh, the value is uh, zero. Okay, so indicating that the design requirements are not met. Okay, so like for example on our library, so as you can see there, it's uh, zero. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to open the level two HVAC plan again. So let's uh, open that one, and then let us place mechanical equipment. Okay, so that's the workflow. You place the mechanical, uh, you place an air terminals, and then after that you apply the CFM based on your computation, and then after that. Um, you place a mechanical equipment okay so for the mechanical equipment so let's go to the systems tab okay let's go to the properties first and then there's the mechanical equipment so let's select that one and then i will be using this default family the parallel fan powered valve uh, size 4 to 10 inch inlet so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to place it here so while you are still holding the air terminal, or I mean the equipment, you can actually press the space bar to rotate the valve unit. So I'm going to press it twice, the space bar, one, two. Okay, so you can press that twice, and then you can now place it. Let's say I'm going to place it somewhere here. There you go. And then I'm going to place, uh, I'm going to select modify to terminate the tool. Okay, now the next thing that we are going to do is, of course, just like on our air terminal, so we need to specify here the offset. So I'm going to select this one, and then after that, let's go to the offset from the properties offset from host. Let's click that, and then let's type in 10 feet. There you go. So it's 10 feet, and then I'll just select here, um, modify. Okay. All right, so like what I've said earlier, I'm going to teach you how to create a supply and return air system without actually creating ducting and connecting each air terminals and uh, mechanical equipment. So how to do that? Because that is one way of creating system. 
So you just need to create a duct from the connector of our A terminals and then connect it to your uh, uh, mechanical equipment. Now, there's another way to create a supply and return air system. But before that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then from the browsers here, I'm going to select the system browser. Okay, so system browser is very useful. So what is this uh, system browser? So our system browser, okay, it helps you find an assigned components in a system. So as you can see here on our system browser, it displays a hierarchical list of all components in each discipline in a project, either by systems, that one, or by zones, or by analytical systems, okay? But in our case, we're using systems here. So because we are trying to check out what are the components that is not yet part of the system. So as you can see here, we have 144, uh, I mean, 44 items that is unassigned. And then we have couple of uh, piping system here, 117 system for electrical and one system for mechanical. Okay, so if you're going to expand that, so you can see here, like for example, so we have this air terminal. So this one is not yet assigned to a system. So if I'm going to select this, it should be highlighted here on our unassigned. You see, mechanical here highlighted. So if I'm going to expand that, oops, let's select again. There you go. So there's, it's on the supply air. You expand that again. So you can see that on the system browser, you'll be able to locate or you'll be able to check out what are the items that is not assigned to a system. Okay, so we need to assign these components to the system for us to be able to uh, create a proper HVAC system. So that's the reason why we are using system browser. Okay, right. Now, so next, let's create now our uh, system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of the air terminals. Okay, so I'm going to select one of the air terminal. So I'm going to select one of the supply. And then after that, again, you will be able to see it here. It highlights it's under an assign. So if you're going to look here at the modify air terminal, so there is a panel here, create systems. So this is how you create a system. So select the air terminal, look for the create systems, and then select that. Select duct. Okay, so just click that one. And then you will be able to create now a supply system. So the, the system type here, it depends on the connector or the type of the air terminal that you are selecting. Since this is a supply air, you can check the system classification here. You can see the system type here is supply air. So that is the system that you will be creating. If you selected a return air terminal, so you will see here return air. All right. Now, automatically it tells us that it's supply air. Okay. You can change the system here if you want. Okay. But for this exercise, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to select open in system editor. So I'm going to check this one. The reason why is that after I select this, we want also the other air terminals to assign to our system. Okay, so that's why I'm going to open the system editor here. When I select OK, it will, uh, it will open the system editor. So for us to be able to add the other air terminals to the system. So make sure add to system is selected. And then let us now select all the air terminals that we want to add to our system. Okay, that's it. Okay, so we now have seven. Okay, so look what will happen here on our uh, system browser after we assign these air terminals to the system. So look what will happen. So the next thing that I'm going to do is after you select these air terminals and add to the system, we are now going to select select equipment. So let's select this one. Okay, and then we select the equipment here. Click that. There you go. And then let's 
finish editing system. That's it. There you go. So as you can see, if you notice your system browser, all the supply air terminal here disappears. Why? Because it went now to our mechanical system. As you can see, we now have here two systems. So if I expand that, supply air. So this is the one that we have. Okay, so this is the system that I'm talking about that we just created. And then these are now all the diffusers on that. So as you can see, it's highlighting on our model. Okay. You can actually right click here and then you can delete that if you want. Or you can select, you can show, and then you can check the property. Okay. Anyway, that's how you create the system. So if I'm now going to select one of the air terminal here, you can now see that we now have a system here. So we now have a supply, air, and then there's the system name. Okay, so there's the system name there. So there's the system name. And then if I click that, it highlights all the air terminals and then the equipment on that particular system. Okay, so let's create another system, which is a return system. So same procedure. I'm going to select one of the return air terminal, and then let's select Duct Create System. And then, again, you can uh, specify a system name here if you want, but I'm going to check Open in System Browser. Okay, let's say, for example, you forgot to check Open in System Editor box, and then you select OK. Okay, the problem now is you only have this part of the system. Okay, now let's say I want this to be added. And then I want these two uh, return air terminal to be part of the, or to be supplied by this equipment here. So how am I going to add that? It's simple. Just select again the air terminal that is already part of the system. And then you look for the dock systems. And then you select your edit system. So that's how you do it. So edit system. So you will now be able to add that air terminal to the system. And then select the equipment that you want to be added. There you go. There you go. And then you just finish editing system. So as you can see, you now have another uh, system here. So it now becomes three. So you now have return air. So expand that. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. So without connecting these air terminals to the equipment, so you are able to create a system for that. Okay. So that's how you create a system. On our next exercise, I'm going to show you how to generate HVAC system layout. All right. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.